My name is Bharat and I'm an Oracle DBA turned DevOps engineer. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some details about how I did that transition. Now for about five years, I've been a DevOps engineer and sort of a software engineer as well. So I'll talk about that later. But if you are someone who has a few years of Oracle DBA experience and if you are curious about DevOps, then this might be the right video for you. So let's jump into it. About five years ago, I was still in an Oracle DBA role. I was uh, basically a performance testing engineer right I was doing that and I was also learning Python on the side I was doing some Udemy courses then I got an opportunity to work on AWS had to do some Python automation and so on in fact the first project that I did was to automate Oracle data guard creation on AWS so for that I had to write a lot of Python scripts and then I had to you know create pipelines which will trigger these uh, Python scripts. So that's where I learned Python and pipeline creation. And I was using a product called Spinnaker and uh, which is very similar to Jenkins. That's how I learned those two skills. So after this data guard automation project, I enrolled myself in a course, in a DevOps course in a place called Edureka. And that's where I learned about Docker and Kubernetes, a little bit of Kubernetes, Jenkins, Puppet, Ansible. I took the course, I did the projects, and I got a little bit more confident about these tools. Then I basically did my AWS Solution Architect certification to get a pretty good idea of like all these different services which are offered by AWS. Then in that process, actually, I was doing other projects around like Oracle automation, right? Like basically I was automating failover. I was automating switchover. I was writing scripts to uh, stop a listener, start a listener. While I was doing that, I was like gaining more in-depth understanding of DevOps. Then when I was looking at my product, they were using Terraform. Terraform is something that is used for automating things on cloud. So I wanted to learn that as as well so I kind of got on Terraform project where I did something with uh, AWS event bridge and AWS SNS like the notification service that's how I picked up Terraform and you know it's all these things are small small projects but it helped me to gain a little bit of confidence at, with each of these tools then I actually jumped into AWS DevOps services meaning all these services which are offered by AWS for DevOps purposes and one of those things were uh, code commit I believe like that's decommissioned now and then elastic beanstalk elastic kubernetes service EKS forget and all these different things which are offered by AWS again this is another course that I took in Edureka Things. I did the projects and more importantly I just just did not watch those videos and it gave me more and more confidence after all those things I had another pivot in my career basically I was put in a pure development team so I was basically functioning as a Java developer and I spent a lot of time writing Java unit tests then later actually I started developing some API's so now I know a little bit about Java programming I know about Spring Boot I know how to work with microservices I know how to create APIs and again I was moved to a different project then I was doing more of that right like Java development pipelines working with rest APIs and so on but like I wanted to get certified again so I took up CKA like certified Kubernetes administrator and I uh, started studying uh, this particular course like Udemy course which is really good uh, I'll leave a link to that course and I did that course for a while then I took the exam I failed the first time the second time I got a really good score so after my Kubernetes uh, certification the CKA certification I'm focusing more on software engineering skills so that was my journey hopefully you learned about some of the tools or at least they like got to know some of the tools that I learned along the way it doesn't matter if you are a junior DBA mid-level or senior if you want to become a DevOps engineer I can guarantee that it is possible because I have done it so all the best please subscribe to my channel please leave your questions as comments I'll see you in the next video